It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Atlanta Falcons and the Minnesota Vikings. And it's coming up next on Madden NFL 23. Joseph now ready to get this one started, and we are underway from Minneapolis. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. And Mariota going to put it up right away. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. That's complete to his tight end, Ferkser. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. To throw again on second down, Mariota. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Play fake, Mariota. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Vikings pick up the football. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. Cousins now after the fumble recovery. And they'll be stopped at the 28. On a play that started at the 14, they pick up 14. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. That's a great example right there to remind everyone of what a weapon he can be as a mobile quarterback, Charles. Nice play to escape the pocket and get his offense into the red zone with a first down. The defensive coach is losing their mind on that play because they knew about his mobility coming in, and they preached all week long. Touchdown! Cousins able to connect with Adam Thielen. And the Vikings take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Personally for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You got a lot to handle in this one. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and ten. It comes, and he lost the football. Mariota had it jarred loose. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Second quarter now, Falcon football. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Mariota to throw it. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. To throw once more on second and 10. Mariota, and his throw here is incomplete. Some back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. Throwing is Mariota. And this pass broken up. And the contact really time there. And now fourth down. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. Here comes Rager. A very 
good return that time. 18 yards. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. Throwing. Cousins. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. From the 38, Cousins. And this one's incomplete. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there. And it's third and short. And he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. So instead of fourth down, first down. Well, so much for winning the down, you put a lot of emphasis on because third down is key for offense and defense. Instead, you're going to stay on the field and start a new set of downs. And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down, but a very nice pick up there just in front of the two-minute warning. On first and ten, Cousins. And that's complete to K.J. Osborne. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Cousins throw complete to his receiver, Thielen. And they have it in the red zone before he crosses over. So here's a first and ten now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, Cousins. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. TJ Hawkinson from 19 yards away. And the Vikings have taken a two touchdown lead now. Joseph connects on the extra point. And it's now 14 to nothing. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was TJ Hawkinson who finished the drive with a touchdown reception. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need him right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Here's Mariota. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to roll him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly what they like to have back as it brings up fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this returnable for Rager. Down the right side. Touchdown, Vikings. That will go down as an 84-yard punt return. And the Vikings will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Joseph connects on the extra point. And that makes the score 21 to 10. We know he has home run hitting ability in the punt return department. And he showcases it there all the way back for six. So after the punt return touchdown, let's see what their opponents can do with this kickoff. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. And the Falcons now going to go on offense late in this first half. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. Mariota on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Now Mariota throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down, here's Patterson. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. 
So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is brought in at the 21. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So we reach half due to time constraints. We move you forward in today's broadcast to the beginning of the third quarter. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Kenny Duangu now out of his end zone. A dangerous return man showing it here. Now come the Vikings. He'll have it first on offense as we begin the third. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at about the 32. Cousins going to bat it forward here on the jet sweep. Ball at the 33, second and nine. On play action, Cousins. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Cousins with work to do after the sack as he brings his guys up on a third and long. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. I don't think there's anyone who could possibly doubt how fast he could run on the open field. But if there were, he silenced those thoughts there. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. They'll throw again. Cousins. Touchdown, Vikings! Kirk Cousins with three touchdown passes now in the afternoon. And the Vikings take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 28 to nothing. So the drive there took six plays, and it was TJ Hawkinson who finished the drive with a touchdown reception. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. That's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Holding offense. The offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? From the gun, Mariota. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. And the Vikings pick up the football. Loose inside the 30. Inside the 10. And they are going to bring this one back. It's a fumble return. A scoop and score for the Vikings. The pass receiver turned into a runner, and then he turned into a thunder, and it goes the other way for Simmons. I love your description. Although, for the offense, they're not too happy about it. But for the defense, what a big-time play for them. Never give up on anything. Sometimes you create your own points. But the receiver, hard to fault him. He's just going for extra yard. That's exactly what you're supposed to do, but you have to take care of the football. And we return, welcoming you back to Minneapolis, where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter.
And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests. But in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Only three there on the screen at second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. From the 39, Mariota. His throw incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. That's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And a third down throw that misses the target incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Pressure comes, but it doesn't prevent him from getting off a good one here. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. And now out comes Minnesota. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Second down, they go right back to Cook. Yeah, able to use the stiff arm to gain leverage initially, but not much room thereafter. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. And he's got room. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 51 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter play. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Joseph on for the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. A drive that time of six plays. And it's capped off by the touchdown run coming from Dalvin Cook. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It's certainly the ball popped in the air and intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. But not only is this defense pitching a shutout, now they're contributing points themselves. I mean, they have really put together what's almost been a perfect effort here in this one. I love how you express that. They've absolutely exceeded expectations in this one. And even better than their play, it's been their effort. Even with the win in their back pocket already, every one of those guys is still out there fighting like it's a tight game. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. One last shot now for Mariota. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Into a double team and it's intercepted. For 
the winning team here, Charles. That's about as big and clear.